Hello everyone, today I will show you how to make your own customizable door using hinge joint like this one. So I can just drag and the door will open in the direction where I'm dragging, which looks pretty nice. It also works with any first or third person character controller, so you don't need to worry about that. Okay, so this is my basic scene, I just have a ground and my first person character player. First I will just drag the door that I have downloaded into the scene. You can obviously also create your own door using the cubes, but what you need to be aware of is the pivot of the door. You can also select it here, you can select the pivot and the pivot has to be on the side of the door like this, so that we can later open it easily. Then we will also create empty game object, which will be the door parent, and we need to set its position to 0, 0, 0, do the same thing for the door, and we want to have the door parent somewhere in the middle of the door, so we can just position it. Also, I will rotate the door 90 degrees, and just put the parent in the middle of the door. Okay, now we can put the door under the parent. We are doing this because later we will need to know if the door is the left side door or the right side, and we will do this by comparing the distance between the center of the door, which is the parent, and the pivot of the door. Now to the door itself, we will add the hinge joint, which will be just handling all of the movement of the joint. We also need to add a kinematic rigid body to the parent. So rigid body, set it to kinematic, and then on the door, we can just set the connected body, which is here, to its parent. And here in the hinge joint, we will need to change some stuff. So first, when I click the edit angular limits, it will show me that the axis is wrong. So we need to set the axis from the X to Y. So we want to rotate the door around the Y axis. I can also change the anchor so it is in the middle like that. And then we probably don't want the door to be rotating all around. So we need to use limits. And now what it allows us is that we can set the limits of the door like that. So we can set it for, for example from the minus 90 to zero, like that, and you can see that we will be able to open the door like that. Next thing we also need to use is the motor of the hinge joint, because with this we will be able to control the door using our script. So we can tick use motor, and under the motor we just need to change the force, you can set it to something like 10, or try experimenting with it. Next we can just put the script onto our player, the script is also available in the description, so you can check it by yourself. And we need to assign a camera, which is obviously under our player, and then the door layer. So if you haven't already done this, you can create a layer and set it to the child of the parent. So set the layer to door and also set it in the script here. Here in the script we have defined a few variables, one of them is a camera, which we need to use for the raycast, then the selected door, which is obviously holding the transform of the selected door, then drag point game object, which is representing the position where we are pointing with our mouse, I will show that to you later, and then we have integer left door, which tells us if the door is left or right, if it is left it is 1, if it is right it is minus 1, and then the door layer. So now what do we do in the update? We just create a raycast hit, which is holding the information of the hit. And then if the physics raycast from the camera's transform position and the direction is just forward of the camera, then we need to save it as the hit, which is holding all of the data. I set the distance to 20 and I have it on the door layer. And if we click the left mouse button, I'm just setting the selected door to the transform that we are pointing at. If the selected door is not equal to null, I'm just defining a joint and a motor because we first need to get the hinge joint from the selected door and then we can get the motor on which we'll be setting the target velocity and just rotating the door. <clears throat> then if there is no drag point game object, 
which is, as I said, the game object for the reference where we are pointing at. Now, then we just create a new game object, call it ray door, and just set its parent to the selected door. Then I create a ray, which is just in the middle of screen where the mouse is pointing at. And I'm setting the position of the drag point game object. And I'm getting a point in this ray in distance between the selected door and the player. Next, I just set its rotation to the same rotation as the door has. Then I'm setting a flow delta, which is just delta of the movement of the mouse. And I have the math power here because in the greater distance the mouse from the door is, then I want it to be opening quicker. So for this I calculate a distance between the drag point game object's position and the position of the door. Then we are deciding if the door is left or right, so I'm just getting the mesh render of the selected door, getting the local bounds and the center of the door, and I'm comparing this with the local position of the selected door, which is the pivot, so I can know if the door is left or if it is right. And in this part, we are finally applying the velocity to the motor. So I have just a constant, which is some speed multiplier. And then I just do some math. So if the absolute volume of the selected doors forward on the Z axis is greater than 0.5, I have done it this way because sometimes when the player was standing in a different direction, it wasn't working the way it was supposed to. So this is why I have a bit of some harder logic, but uh, still it is nothing too complicated. I'm just setting the target velocity of the motor. I have the delta multiplied by the speed multiplier, then multiplied by the delta time and multiplied by the left door, which just gets me the volume negative or positive depending if it is left or right door. And I do it like that with all of these conditions. All of them are almost the same. I just have uh, sometimes different axes and all of that stuff. Then we obviously need to apply the motor to the joint. So the joint motor is equal to the motor that we have set the volumes on. And then if we release the left mouse button, I'm setting the selected door to null, setting its target velocity to null, applying the motor again, and destroying the drag point game object which we have just created. And now I will show it to you in action also with the drag point game object. And now you should be able to come to the door from any direction. And when I just drag it, yes, I am able to open it. You might want to change the limits of the door, the speed of the opening and so on. But you can see that even when I come here, I can still open it. And when I would add multiple doors from different directions, it should still work. Now I will also show you the ray door object which I was talking about, so I can just stop the game and when I get to the scene, yeah, you can see that it is here on the correct position. This is probably not the best solution for opening the doors, you might find another way to do it, but since there were no tutorials on YouTube, this is the solution that I found and it seems to be working in all scenarios, so I hope that it will help you. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments, don't forget to like, subscribe and I will see you in next videos. Bye!